Yes, we're on again. Well, g'day guys. Hope you guys are all doing very well and thanks for joining me on another little walkabout. So, you wouldn't body believe it, we've got another rainy weekend this weekend. I swear to God, we haven't had like a, what, a sunny weekend for like four or five months. It's been absolutely ridiculous how wet it's been, but anyway, we're out here um, yeah, doing a little bit of an exploration trip this weekend. We're going down to a river that I've never been to before and yeah, this park couldn't have been to before either. So, very keen to see what it's like. Um, from what I've heard, I think you get trout down here, so fingers crossed we can land ourselves one for dinner. I've got the fly fishing rod with me. So yeah, hopefully it's a nice little weekend. Hopefully this rain holds out for us and it should be gone. Fire out this area has so much blackberry bush, it's absolutely everywhere. But given that it's uh, what middle of March now, this is still in fruit, so even though it's an absolute horrible weed, completely takes over areas, at least it's a bit of a useful one. It's got some nice bush tucker. Oh man, that is delicious, hey? <laughs> that is really tasty. Man, this seems like an awesome little spot. I'm very hopeful, so how about we uh, get the rod out of the bag and then we'll chuck a few flies at them and see if we can get one to bite. Might just start with the dry fly first and see how that goes. I'll try in this little pool just here, but since I've been walking around here, I figured the fish are probably already onto me, but let's give it a go. <laughs> oh, yes, first cast. You are kidding. Oh, that is so good. <laughs> There we go. Nice brown trout. There we go. There we go. Nice little brown trout. A little bit small, but nice to uh, put one on the tally. See you, buddy. Can you believe that? First cast, eh? That is so good. <laughs> you. Let me stick out. Yes. yes. We're on 
again. Oh, nice. Oh, is he a nice size? Let's not lose him. There we go. That was a very nice little one. And what a beautiful fish. He's an absolute cracker. So he's over league length, so I think he might be dinner for tonight. It's probably a good little size. Man, what a beautiful fish. I am so stoked with this catch. Cannot be more thankful as well. This is my first ever wild caught trout that I'm gonna cook up, so I'm really keen to see how it tastes. Usually I like to sort of catch and release, but like I said, never actually cooked one up, so pretty keen to give it a go. But yeah, very thankful, mate. Now let's go try and find a campsite. Oh, how good is that? We've even got some sun coming out. And it is turning out to be a very nice day. And it's just such a beautiful little river. It's really nice walking along the banks. It's quite nice and open and grassy, which is uh, pretty unusual to be honest. <laughs> it's actually really nice. All right, you guys are gonna laugh at me, but I think I might go back to the area where I caught this fish. It's just a, quite a pretty area back there, and um, there's a few trees to tie off the tarp too. Whereas around here, like it is really nice and sort of open and grassy, but yeah, not many trees around to tie the tarp to, and uh, it's a little bit open. I kind of want to go back to where the trees are, hear a few more birds and stuff. So I think that's what we'll do. It's only about a 20 minute walk, so not too far. All right, so I'm back at that original spot where I caught the fish, and. Looks really nice, but one thing that I didn't really notice before was this giant tree here. And it's got so many sort of dead, dead branches and potential widow makers. So, look, it's probably not the best um, option to camp, unfortunately. It looks really good, but yeah, I just, I don't know, don't know how much I trust that tree. So, might have to play it safe, and I'll just go for a bit of a scout around here and hope we can find something else. <laughs> Oh man, it's so nice having that sun come back out. It's gonna turn out to be a really nice afternoon. Which is a, yeah, a welcome change. So I figured like, yeah, if I get the tarp out, I should be able to tie it up here somewhere and then might even do like a plow point shelter or something like that and hopefully I can sleep around here. There is a little bit of a, what kind of looks like a bit of a game trail. Um, maybe sort of cattle and stuff use this trail, but there's plenty of space around me. I'm just hoping they do come throughout the night, they can just go around me. <laughs> uh, we'll find out. I'm just gonna roll a bivy out underneath the, the shelter. Just got my ground sheet. I'm just using the Outdoor Research Helium Bivy again. 
and it is so nice having that sun out and it feels good to finally get some sun on the skin off to my last trip um, here where I did that canyon in that cave I uh, had a little hole in the bottom of the mat so throughout the night, I don't think I told you guys but throughout that night I probably woke up every half an hour having to blow up the, the mattress um, it was an absolute punish I probably woke up at least 15 times or something that night uh, but yeah, managed to patch it at home so hopefully that does the job for tonight It's going to get pretty chilly tonight, I think, so I bought out the, the big boy. This is the Cedar Summit Ember 3. Whether it's going to be a bit overkill or not, <laughs> we'll find out, but yeah, it's going to get um, yeah, pretty cool. Alright, well it's about 5 o'clock, so I might go for a quick little fish for about half an hour and then we'll uh, go back and get the fire going and yeah, get dinner on. Oh man, it is so bloody nice to be out in the sun. Have I said that already? <laughs> oh, it feels so good. Smashed over there. Come on, buddy. Oh, another one just there. You're going everywhere except where my fly is. Oh, oh damn it. Damn it. Missed that one. Spewing. Oh, oh. come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right, well, not much luck. Uh, it's about 5.30, so I'm gonna make my way back to camp. Uh, sunset's about seven o'clock, so like about an hour and a half. So I'd like to try and yeah, get some firewood collected and get the fire going and cook up dinner um, before it gets dark. And uh, yeah, you get some more time away, we might go for a fish, otherwise we'll just yeah, save it for tomorrow morning. Well, I'm not quite sure if this rain's going to hit us or not because over there you've got blue sky but then all over there is pretty dark clouds so interesting to see what happens I really hope it doesn't rain oh, I just want to be able to cook up dinner 
uh, nice and easy, you don't have to worry about any rain for once. So, fingers crossed. All right, well, let's get this bad boy on the fire. All right, so it's got some oil in the pan. Now, question for you guys. You meant to scale trout. I scaled it, but it's actually like, I don't know, really fine scale. It's actually pretty hard to scale. Uh, like I said, I've never cooked or prepared trout myself. So, um, yeah, not really sure if you meant to scale it, but I did anyway. So we'll just, uh, I just had to take the head off and the tail off just so I could fit inside the pan. And we'll just chop up some garlic and we'll put some butter in there as well and we'll get, get it on the fire. That side's probably about done. Whoa, not bad. It's looking pretty damn good. All right, well, I think she's done. And for once, I haven't burnt my broccoli. <laughs> oh, that looks so good, eh? It's so damn good this. But first, you know what time it is? Gin and tonic time. Just as we got the nice sunset as well, we've actually got some color in the sky for once. Seems like that uh, storm's air yeah, blown over, which is nice. Oh man, this is gonna be so smoky. Some lemon for the gin and some lemon for the fish. Oh, I am so keen for this. This looks delicious. Alright guys, well cheers to the first wild caught trout catching pool. It's a, a worthy cheers to that eh? Bloody delicious. Man, so much colour in this guy. Well, I'll better show you guys. <laughs> it's a really nice sunset. Would you look at that. You finally get a nice sunset. Oh, you wouldn't believe it as well. The old Akuba is starting to give way right on the tip of the crown there. It's got a little hole starting to wear through. I think because I always grab it like this to sort of fan the fire and stuff, so yeah, might be getting a new one pretty soon, I reckon. Should be a sad day. This hut has seen some pretty awesome adventures. Oh man, it's a bloody fire. <laughs> You know what? One of these days, I might even bring myself a chair. <laughs> Gosh, that would be an absolute luxury, wouldn't it? I'm forever sitting on the ground, but to be honest, I don't actually mind it too much. I kind of like sitting on the ground, but 
there are definitely times where having a chair would be nice, like now. All right, let's see how this guy is. Yum, that is delicious. Wow, that is really nice. Oh man, that's, that is so tasty. I think the last time I had trout, I was up at Lake Tibikaka in, um, gosh, where is that? I'm trying to remember the country. Anyway, I'll remember, I'll put it on the screen. But anyway, <laughs> the last time I had um, yeah, trout was at Lake Tibikaka, and yeah, it was really tasty. Eh? And I haven't had it since then, which was like 2015, so a very long time since I had trout. And even the broccoli's not burnt. <laughs> How good is that? Well, this is definitely a nice way to camp. Just coming out, catching your own dinner in a very beautiful place. I can't believe I haven't been here before. Eh? I've had this place on the list for so long. <laughs> it took me years to finally actually get here. And I think I'll definitely be coming back, that's for sure. All right, guys. Well, that fish was absolutely delicious. That was honestly one of the nicest fish I've had. That was really good. So I don't think it's been the last time we have some trout. So anyway, um, we just lost the last of the sunset, so it's probably going to get dark pretty soon. So I think on that note, it's probably about time to put the camera away. I'm very keen to sit back around the old bush telly, pull myself another nice big gin and tonic, and yeah, chuck on some cold to war. Sounds like a pretty nice Friday night to me. So yeah, anyway, I'll see you guys nice and tomorrow morning, and yeah, we'll go for another fish. See you then. Well, good morning guys. This bloody rain, honestly, it is just absolutely relentless. It just will not let up, eh? It's mostly what it feels like to go camping in England, eh? But um, yeah, it rained all throughout the night. It's raining again this morning. Um, but yeah, I was keen to get a fire going and cook up some pancakes on it, but I don't think there's any chance a fire is going to be happening this morning. Um, so I've got my little stove cooker, so hopefully we can cook up the pancakes on that because I'm very bloody keen for them. Yeah, so I just want to pick some blackberries just to go on the pancakes. So let's get it cooked up. Yeah, so we just opted for a little pancake mix. So just add some water to it. Cooking with titanium sometimes isn't the best. It's like already burning the bottom. That was gonna be a bit tricky to flip over. Oh, a little bit burnt, but not too bad.
Look, you're not going to win any awards for presentation with these pancakes, but I'm sure they're going to be bloody delicious. Alright, so I've just got some Nutella in here. And now I know what you guys are thinking. Mate, Scotty, you don't muck around, do you, mate? Not at all. When it comes to pancakes, you got to go all out. So put some Nutella on that. Chuck on some of the strawberries and the berries. And last but definitely not least, the maple syrup. <laughs> oh my goodness, I think I've outdone myself. Look at this thing. <laughs> not bad for breakfast. This looks so good. Now, just because it's raining, doesn't mean you can't have a good time. Let's dig in. Oh. Wow. Oh, I'm gonna choke for a second. <laughs> that is bloody delicious, eh? Hey? I cannot believe I have not cooked pancakes out in the bush before for brekkie. I've done it on car camping trips, but not on hiking trips. Man, this is definitely going to be a regular for sure. Oh, man. That is a nice way to start your morning. That is so good. Well, I've got a very full belly after that. But that was bloody delicious. And uh, the rain seems to have held off for now, which is good. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly pack down the gear and then we'll get back out on the river and yeah, have a bit of a fish. Remember guys, leave no trace. This is where I saw the few fish strike the surface yesterday, so hopefully I have better luck today. Alright, well I might change up my fly. I might give this little grasshopper a go, I've never used him before. I don't know whether it's a little bit too late in the season, but we'll see how it goes. Oh man, the fishing is tough this morning. I haven't had a single strike. Come on. <laughs> oh, damn it, I think, I think that was a fish. <laughs> Let's try that again. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 
Fishy, fishy, fishy. Yes! Yes, we're on. We are on. I knew there was a fish hiding there. Oh, beautiful. What is he? Is he a rainbow or a brown? I think another brown. There we go. Oh, beautiful fish. I just spat the flower out. Fly out, thanks mate. Oh man, what a beautiful fish. Lovely patterns. Let me uh, grab the other camera and I'll give you guys a bit of a closer look. Oh, oh no! <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh. oh, you got to be kidding me. I went to go grab this main camera so I could get some like nice close-up shots of it. And I had him in the net and I sort of put the net against the bank and sort of went to sort of go stand on it with my foot and try and keep him in the net, but he managed to jump out and swim away. So, ah, oh, bloody hell. But he had a really nice pattern on him, eh? Really wish I could have got some um, close-up footage of it, but oh well, at least we landed one. So I'm not going to go home empty-handed this morning. It's nice to kind of get one <laughs> close to the bank. You know, I have a few more cars here, but I'll probably have to start heading back soon. It's about lunchtime now, so I'm kind of gonna get a bit of a move on. All right, well, I'm just gonna have one more cast here, and I think we'll have to call it. Ah. I don't think this is gonna work. This is where I caught that first fish yesterday, so might be a little bit spooked. All right, boys and girls. Well, I just realized what the time is. It's one o'clock and I've got to be somewhere at three o'clock. So I'm a little bit behind schedule, so I've got to get a bit of a move on. Just wanna say, um, yeah, quick goodbye to all you guys and a big thanks to all you guys watching and yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. It was a really nice little overnighter. It's nice to do um, my first trout catch and cook. So yeah, anyway, till next time guys. Hey, Rick.